Good morning. Good moza. Good morrow to thee. <laughs> it's a new week, it's a new vlog. It is a new week and a new vlog and a new day. <laughs> and a new day, hey, hey, hey. And it's a new opportunity. Hey, 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 to slay, slay, slay. I was gonna say to get a matcha. To matcha, yay, yay. Yay, yay, yay. You know what's bad though? What? I said to myself this week, I said it's alcohol free, caffeine free Wait, week. Wait, I thought you did matcha free last week. I didn't last. I didn't last. And obviously I lasted a few days. But then I got the Like what's week. the point of giving it up, sorry? Just to try and cleanse, the, God, this angle, just to try and have a little caffeine cleanse. You know how it gets me a bit like wired up? I feel like anything gets you wired up, doll. I know, I have such a sensitive little ecosystem. The you gotta do something that makes you happy. Why have we looked so pale? Summer's well and truly gone. We are, if you haven't seen my last vlog, we are staying at the 100 Shoreditch. House of Sunny put me up for two nights and we're just enjoying this beautiful hotel room. It's absolutely stunning. Um, Could live here. It's huge. It's huge, our big living room, but we are, yes, gonna go walk down and get some matcha before we have a big Common Chaos meeting this morning. Yeah. Which we're gonna sit our asses down on this beautiful table here with our matchas and just tap, 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 tap. <laughs> doing all sorts of amazing work. Um, so yeah. That's what's the plan and then Shim's gonna come around later and we're gonna go for a little vintage shop once all the work is done. This is my new jumper. I got it yesterday at Selfridges. It is Wales Bonner. Oh, I thought it was Adidas. 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 Bitch, it's Adidas. You're Australian. Adidas, what are you, fucking Alayan? <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Alayan? I am Alayan. It's uh -huh. Adidas, New Balance on the feet. Skims on the turtleneck to choosy, oh no, basic on the pants. Love these pants. How good have these pants been to me? Yeah, you've had them for a long time, haven't you? All right, let's get the matcha. Annie Leon Dor, Amelie, Amine. Amy? Amy? I never know how to say Amy? this. Amay? I just say Leon Dor on the camera. Hey, have you got a key? I do, sweetie. <laughs> sweetie. Vintage Gucci, not mine. 80s. Do you remember when I used to wear these sunnies religiously? Yeah, but are those the Le Specs ones? The Specs. Are they Le Specs? They're shimmers. Oh, because I've got the Specs too. Let's go. Okay, well. Wait, I need to show you something elite that you're going to love. You're going to really love that one. We need it in our future house. This blue. Oh, yeah. Future home will have this big sparkling tap. If you don't know, Ash and I are like sparkling water. Is that too early in the morning to have a big bottle of sparkling water? I mean, I wouldn't. But I know why you want it because I've got the same feeling. Mm. Like, oh, she's really carbonated. <laughs> Just that for me. How good is this? Thanks for joining me. I'm in my morning routine. I'm such a hawk of filtered water, like I really am. But you'll love the taste of this water. Good. Because mm. London, your tap water needs some cleansing. Mm. Sadly, the matcha spot was shut. I think that's a sign from the universe, because I literally said I wasn't going to be having matcha at the moment. Yeah, fucking nice. Free week. Working in my favor. <laughs> sit here and have it. Should we sit out the front? Stunning decaf oak cap. Really good. Maraki. We are just at the really cutie little restaurant in the hotel having some brekkie. It's really nice. I feel really tired this morning. I'm not even tired. It's just. What is this? Can just maybe, maybe the aircon. Yeah. Yeah, my eyes are like stingy, stingy, and I'm about to get my period. So like, you know, my titties are huge. Everything feels a bit swollen. Just a bit TMI. A morning TMI. It's rough out here. It's rough, but honestly, this oh. Choking on a baked bean. Just waiting for my food. I ordered apple toast, a poached egg, shock horror. Having a decaf coffee. 
Luckily they didn't have much on the menu because we know I would have gotten it. Tons of berries. The girlies got the the buffet. Which honestly is a leap. It was great. It looks good. Like what buffet do you ever see that has smashed avo? I just never do. You never see it. They they get it. It's like good one. Oh Shimmy's here by the way. Have you wait, have you been on my vlogs before? Is this your first appearance? There she is. Oh yeah! <laughs> and this little bitch, you've seen her enough. <laughs> Are you sick of seeing her yet? <laughs> oh, first ass. You know what's criminal? You two are criminal with this. Beans. Hot beans for breakfast is the most disgusting thing. What do you mean? Don't ever put beans on toast bars. I know, but... I, I literally hate it. Do you know what I like though? This is full sicko mode. Dude, beans I, toast is so good. I, it's saucy. I like beans. Cold out of the can. Ooh. Straight cold out of the can. With a spoon, with a fork. And you're calling us yeah, yeah. hot beans. Look at the mirror dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Hot beans with hot cooked cool. tomato. Oh my god. My, my stomach would have a fit. Have you had these beans before? I love baked beans, just cold out of the tin. Mm. The spaghetti stuff, you know, the, the tin no. spaghetti, cold no, no, out of the tin. Not cold. No, on yeah. toast. Yeah, spaghetti yeah. on toast. Yeah. You remember those things you can make with a pasty? Jaffle. Yeah. A jaffle. Oh. The spaghetti jaffles, but, and you put cheese with it. Oh, I, I, like like <laughs> yeah. I would never pick it. Your bacon's slipping off the plate. Guys, have some. That's what's going on. I don't think I eat it anymore. <laughs> I'm not sure what I eat and what I don't I know, I eat. I haven't had it in so long, but I go in phases of like, like mm, I go in phases of the meat that I let myself I consume. And I, I just, would never buy it at the grocery store and cook yeah. it at home. Bacon? Mm -mm. No, no love. Unless it's like camping or something. You're on like a big trip and you've mm. all gone to Byron, yeah. away to a beach town for the weekend. Everyone's having like bacon eggs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fuck, I love strawberries. Here we go. Looks below average. How much better that just already looks with a little bit of salt and pep. Got some chili flakes coming too. I just got home. I had dinner with Knee High. It's my friend's clothing brand. This is a little fit. Always in these boots. Just got home to Shimmy Sham Sham. My little crafty darling has made this disco ball thingy. I'm obsessed, and a little disco ball down here for the bar. It's like elite, creative little thing. I'm like so not arts and crafty in the slightest. Oh, also, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but she's drooping a bit. This is our little chandelier that Shimmer made. It used to be like a bit more lifted. She's bendy, yeah. Excited. Also, sorry, it's so noisy. It's the kettle. Just got. Hello Fresh delivered. I used to do Hello Fresh back in Oz, so I'm very excited. Can't wait. Not my period, pretty much ruining my whole day today. Like, you know what? Drinking lots of alcohol and only eating fries for a few days will give you bad period cramps. Confirmed. Learn from me. Good morning. I've just woken up, gotten dressed. It is podcast day today. I'm so excited. We have booked in the studio. We are going in to record. Why have I lost all my lip liners? Nope. Like I love that. Like, I've lost all of them and I'm holding like five different ones, but I've lost like my color that I my absolute favorite. Fine. We'll use this one. Oh yeah, I'm just about to meet Ashton out the front. I'm gonna grab a decaf coffee. I'm resisting the urge to drink matcha, as I've said. Need a little caffeine break. My period is so intense this time round. Like, I just feel like shit. I never get very like intense period symptoms ever. But this one is really testing me a bit. It's 
not fun. Um, like my stomach has just been hurting. Honestly, the girlies, we go through it. We really go through it. I also feel crazy. Like my moods, I'm just like overthinking everything. Um, and just being a bit of a like nutcase. I'm not even being a nutcase, just in my head I'm being a bit like Wah! Um, but anyways, I've just gone really simple. I'm just wearing this knee high top shimmers trench that I'm obsessed with. I've just gone simple on the jewelry because I just feel like whatever. And low jeans, these new balances. Guys, these nails have to go, have to go, have to go today. Like the pink is, is going and it's never, ever, ever coming back. Also my hair is just like on day, I don't even know what since I've washed it and it's being slicked back, which is so bad. I need to get back into no heat and no slicking, but it's just very hard to style your hair when you can't slick it or heat it, especially when I've got my fringe, like my bangs. I'm like, do I grow the bangs out? No, I couldn't. They just, I still love them so much, but anyways, irrelevant conversation for right now. We are recording, we're recording the podcast out of Universal Music. That's where our management is and I'm so excited that you guys know I'm like, I just gag over any music stuff. So I'm like, like we're gonna run into someone? Like I just can't wait to like be in the Universal like office. Just getting a little quick coffee before the day begins. Obviously, we should just be vlogging each other and then swap the footage for our involved. I love this song. This is my favorite song ever. One of. Oh my god. It might get so weird when I count this, but I mean. Yeah. I get so nervous. It was about five minutes ago. I've never seen We just recorded the first episode of season three. Um, and at the end of the episode, I've given Ashton a little challenge. Because if you listen to the podcast app, you'll uh, soon learn that Ashton is... Sorry, me looking for lipstick. She's been very closed off lately. Celibate must... She's been closed off it. to love, closed off to anything that involves a male, um, which is fine. Even when p uh, guys have come up in the street, I'm like, look at them and they're uh, like, Obviously. I'm always. Like, no. Can't you see I've got my bloody AirPod Maxes on? I'm vibing out. I don't <laughs> want to talk to you. I feel like even if there was like a really cute guy, you'd be like, ew. So anyways. No, because that one in Berlin. Oh yeah, no, you did do that. Okay, well anyways, we've set a challenge. I've set her a task from on the podcast, which you guys can listen to the proper episode, but she needs to match with someone on Raya yeah. this week, get some chats flowing, and she needs to go on a date. Like she's never had a Raya. I put my location as LA. So I was trying to find So let's put your location back to London, where you live, just to remind you. Um, I think he's off the app as well, like definitely. Anyway. Um, so was, yeah, so her challenge that she has to go on a date. Sure, if you get moving today, I think this date could happen by at least Saturday night. And perfect, yeah. perfect because we've all got like, one of Harvey has his event at Soho House. Best thing to do is you peel off, you know your friends there, you feel comfy, safe, you've already had a few drinks, you peel off, go have chats with this guy, I'll be there. I'll be there perusing. When? This Saturday. No, but I'm gonna peel off to a different place than you? No, you just go to Soho House. You'll be in the Soho House. Oh, okay, They'll okay. have a private room that you can be like, oh, I'm at Soho House. He doesn't know all your fucking mates are there. And then, uncomfortable, text me, oh my God, hi, what are you doing here? Okay, gotcha, 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 okay. That's okay. a good plan. They'll make you feel comfy and safe. I right? do love Soho House. It's all dimmed light. And like, yeah, no. I can't. Well, I can't be filming sneaky vids and stuff, but I will oh, try. Yeah. Shaking no, your neck. Yeah. You can this do Saturday. the good old, like you're on this the Saturday. phone. Ashton, look at me in the eyeballs. This Saturday. Okay, maybe if I can make it happen. Yeah, you can. I mean, I'm so you know, excited. You can do the good old, like, I'm just on the phone, but you're actually recording. Oh, yeah. <laughs> filming. <laughs> like this. Yeah. Um, yeah, sorry, I just... Uh, it's so obvious, hey, there's no way to, like, film someone and them not know. Like, you have to be, like, holding your phone, like... 
Yeah, but even then, when I'm not even recording, you can see I've it. got my phone like this. People look at the camera. I'm like, oh no, I'm not recording. Like, uh, anyways, that's what's happening, and I'm very excited. <laughs> well, we could do this one. I mean, I probably feel like that one. that one the most, but same. So we're in the kitchen. I have my HelloFresh box. And we have three options. The Lou's come over for dinner. It's either sweet potato, ginger, and garlic tofu stew. Zesty sea bream and mango salsa or a quick buttered chicken masala. We're mm. thinking no to this because we had chicken for lunch. Yeah, see ya. We both really want the sea bream. You could be yum, but we kind of had like a curry for lunch. No, definitely that. Okay, we're gonna cook this. Done. D -d 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 Let's get out the ingredients and we'll, we're HelloFresh professionals because we did it in Sydney. Honestly, miss HelloFresh meals. Got our bag. And it has all of the ingredients in it. We've got some spinach. Oh, a mango. Yeah, Yum. I got a mango salsa. Oh my god, truly. Tomatoes, sorry, honey, potatoes, lots, chili, and lime, and the fish. Is that everything we need? Yes, it is. Well, this literally steps out everything. So get prepping. Preheat your oven. Obviously, roast potatoes first. Make the mango salsa. Flavor the sea bream. Fish to fry. Finish and serve. Let's go. In my mini kitchen. Can I just show you guys? Yes. Can I just show you guys how small? She's adorable and I love my kitchen, but she's a tiny little space. Okay, season the potatoes. They're going in the oven. Chopping up the curry, the spring onion, and the chili. We've done the mango. Why am I speaking like I'm on a literal cooking show? Like in the most annoying voice. You know what? I feel like I've still got my podcast voice done from today. Voice done. Like, do you feel like you do a bit of a different voice on the podcast? Yeah. You know what? Yes I get bogan. No. I get real bogan. Why? It's like yes and no. Like mine changed a little. But then if I was on another another person's podcast, I would normal. be like so professional. I know. But on ours, I'm like, yeah, you know what? <laughs> yeah, girls. You know what? <laughs> I actually can see his face right now. Spicy, spicy. Ooh, she's a big girl. That's good. It's gonna deep hit her and then slice her up. Really? Why? That's getting rid of all the hotness. I don't know, that's what it says. Well, we, like it, we like it hot though. It'll still be hot. No, it's the still... hotness is the chili. I'm telling you right now, look. I'll eat this. <laughs> Little Miss Smartass <laughs> over here goes, puts a big bit of chili in her mouth. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Your eyes are watering. Your eyes are watering. Stunning. Guys, look at this. My plates are so small, so it really just looks like a massive mound of food. But it looks delicious. Um, Yummy, healthy, fresh. I feel like why Lou and I literally love HelloFresh is you, each week we used to sit down and we'd like pick which meals we wanted to have for the week. Yum, the salsa is so good. There's 30 different recipes a week. Vegetarian, vegan, meat eaters, fish eaters, whatever. Let's try the fish. Really good. Mmm. And the potatoes are really good. Mm. Doing HelloFresh as well is very waste friendly because you literally use every, every bit of the ingredients. There's no extras, it's all pre-measured. I have a discount code for you guys. In Australia, you can get $140 off. So the code is just Cardia. The code is valid in the UK and all around the world, but when you put this code in, it will give you what your discount is. Um, but yeah, we love HelloFresh. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. This is good. You just, you, I think, oh, not every single one can be good. You know, there's gotta be a dud one somewhere. No, there's never been there's one we haven't liked. Not one. Some of them were so, so good. I would dream about them after it. Yeah. And we'd have them down in the water at home. Mm -hmm. We'd cook it and we'd go down to the little beach we lived on. That's dinner. We're gonna sit and enjoy this. Chalky for dessert. Chalky for dessert. And then we're gonna watch some Netflix. Tell us what we're watching. Check out Heartbreak High. Well, we've already watched like two apps. We've watched two apps. We actually really like it, to be honest. 
pretty good. Pretty good, you know, watching some old friends in Heartbreak High. But it is really cool to see like an Aussie show. Do really well. It's making me really homesick with watching all like the slang and everything in it. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna watch that. And then, honestly, I'm gonna be editing until late tonight, so. Good morning. I just got dressed. These cargoes are old Urban Outfitters, New Balances, Jonah, Jonah Brown top, Joan Brown top, Jonah Brown. I've had this for the longest time. It, I think it is hands down just my favorite long sleeve. Like it's so comfy and the scoop is great ways. I've put an Olaplex hair mask in just then because my hair is feeling so dry and <laughs> This is a rumors jumper that I, you guys have seen me wear all the time. Just quickly getting dressed. I'm just heading to my favorite cafe to go and do some editing and do some work with Ashton. What's new? We were supposed to go to the gym this morning. Like I have been so consistent with going to the gym every single morning for like, literally since i got back from my birthday like almost two months now but i've doing been doing a lot of like high intensity workouts which i love i love hit classes um but i know it's not good to do really high intense exercise on your period because your body needs to be resting so and i just feel so zonked right now so i'm just like not gonna push myself and to just do a big walk the cafe that i go to is like a 40 minute walk away and i love i mean i always love walking there even if i do a workout i'll walk there as well recently i've been trialing out sunday riley's products been using the CEO Afterglow Vitamin C Cream. This is not sponsored. I just, Ashton is obsessed with Sunday Riley. And I feel like my skin has just been like kind of dull lately, especially like just, I don't know. I'm not a huge skincare girly. Like I don't know anything really. I just find products that I love and I'll use them for ages, but I'm just trialing out these new ones. I'm going to try the autocorrect brightening eye cream. I just feel like I'm silly. Like we obviously doing influencing stuff. I get to try, I get, you know, sent quite a lot of products and I often am like, I'm bad. I just give them to friends and family without really trialing them um, because I'm stubborn and I'm stuck in my own ways. I'm always nervous to try new skincare in case it breaks out my skin, but I'm gonna start trialing stuff more. And I'm also gonna start talking to you guys more about the products I'm using because I know that it's helpful to see because they're just, there's so many products. I got way too much. I pumped out like way too much. Um, it is just helpful to see when someone's like genuinely using something and if it's good. And I'll always tell you guys if it's obviously sponsored. I'm not gonna wear any makeup. I've just been putting on this. I got sent this as well. It's so funny. I thought it was nail polish when I first got it, but it's a lip oil from Typology. Plum purple. I don't really love that it's a purpley color, but I just like love how it feels. The purple's kind of weird. I wish it was like a red. The oil is just, mm, my God, it feels so good. What do you guys think is the best lip balm, lip product? Because it is getting cold here and my lips are getting very dry. It's not cute. I wouldn't wear makeup, but I look so pale. I'm just gonna put on some of my favorite Mega Max Moody blush stick. I they're sending me bless them they're sending me like three sticks of these because i obviously can't get them here in london and i i put this on my lips i put it on my cheeks like i do not leave the house without this stuff i normally have one in my makeup bag and one in my handbag but i've lost the one in my handbag so we're down to one it really is just the best 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 color a little bit on the nose 
Just at the cafe doing some work. Just got a little salad. A little tuna, tuna salad situation. Ugh, the ugly fucking catch. I have been looking today. I've been looking. Oh, the backdrop looks so ugly. There's like rubbish, like oh, rubbish that I need to take out there. This ugly couch, whatever. Just deal. We've got a haul. Because I can't get some of my favorite things here in London. So God bless Mecca sent me a big box. Shimmer is sitting here. She's ready for her haul. Yeah. <laughs> this like makes me like happy. Just knowing it's from home. Knowing it's come so from home. I thought you were gonna say this just makes me happy knowing I can use all of this as well. <laughs> and that. All right, I do just, I, so. I love Mecca so much. Woo! Lots of little things. Wait, how? They sent a lot. Do you want to come in this? Come and open literal. It's literally Christmas. I have a code name for our street as well that we came up with when we were doing our podcast yesterday. Cause like we were trying to explain how we live on the same street as Ashton and Mum. We called it Harley Street. Cute. So our incognito name is Harley Street. Christmas at Harley Street. It's a good name. <gasps> I want that actually sent. <gasps> they sent my favorite. Okay, so this perfume replica, I got, I bought the, the by the fireplace, just the little mini one to try it out. And I fell in love with it. And Ashton used to have the candle. I should have ordered the candle. That was silly. Yeah. And they sent it to me. But anyway, so I bought it and it's like so expensive, the little one. And I loved it so much and I lost it within two days of having it. Within two days. Really so they've sent it and they also sent much of meditation. Oh, that's a bit of you. It's a bit of me. I, I have the springtime one and it's my favorite. The matcha one. meditations like kind of smells a bit vanilla -y. I sprayed it on myself, it's self reduced. These, I love these peels. Yeah, that's what I said to my manager, Camille. I said, what's good from Dr. Dennis? Universal daily peel. They've wrapped this and lucky they did. That's still everywhere. Olaplex intensive bond building. You guys know I'm always on my hair growth, hair health grind. Hourglass. Yeah, Millie said that this is really good. Look what I got. The Kate Campbell Exfolicate Cleanser. Exfolicate. <laughs> she's a beauty. She's a beauty girl. Exfolicate cleanser. This is, I will show you guys what this looks like. This I've used this cleanser for years and years and years. And every time I go to LA, I would always go to Kate Sumable on Melrose and get a facial. And it's my favorite facial in the world. Really? My skin is glowing after Kate mm. Sumable. You're gonna die. What is it? talking this morning to them about um my moody sticks it's the go-to it's the staple for all of us that is heaven on earth some That's charlotte good. tilbury this is amazing the drunk elephant sunshine drops um it's a kind of like bronzing drops i would say and you put it i mix it in with like moisturizer or with my foundation or like i don't even use foundation anymore so maybe with some moisturizer and it just makes you like tanned and glowy and gorgeous <gasps> Oh my god, yay, more Olaplex. <laughs> you can tell what grind I'm on right now. I got the bond maintenance, shit, bond maintenance system. So there's the shampoo and the conditioner. I use them at the moment. So I got a restock and the number three hair perfector, which is like bond treatment. Not that I dye my hair anymore, but I feel like it helps. But also I've heard that if you use too many protein Products. It, can make it, snap. it can actually make your hair snap. So I'm just gonna. Yeah. Isn't she so She's pretty? pretty? Wait, show me the color. Oh, you can see it. Um, My focus is so bad, but the bottle is just. <laughs> I literally used to do that when I was a <laughs> young makeup beauty girl. Okay, literally smell this. A bit far away. Really fresh, and then when it sits on your skin for a bit, it smells like vanilla. And see brightening serum. I swear it's literally changed my skin. Has it? Yeah. Has it? Yeah. It makes it just makes everything brighter. If you put it on your lips too, it like brings out like the natural the pigment. Color. Well, I've just started using the Sunday Riley vitamin C stuff too, so maybe I'll like give Sunday Riley a proper like go oh, first. Bitch. I think it's Asho. <laughs> Lots of brands do like dewy vitamin C cream, so I'm gonna keep trying. To Riley for a bit and see if I like it. Um, I mean, I already do really like 
the Sunday Riley cream that's all I've got on right now with some blush and it kind of has made my skin look quite nice and the eye cream as well. So yay! Thank you, Mecca. I just love you guys. That is what? Natural deodorant that I use. Wait, it's really good. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, the dishwasher. Oh my god, not like we need any more chocolate in our house. No, that's the first thing I thought. When this came is before. the best one as well. The sea salt one is big. They do. I, I, Tony's puts the biggest, chunkiest bits of sea salt in their chocolate. Like, they're not BS. Oh, you look so cute. Yeah, nice. baby. <laughs> Wait, you gotta put it on top. I know. Look, <laughs> my hair mask is getting all in. <laughs> <laughs> I look like literally bald. This would be me if I shaved my head. Not no. Bleach, like shave my head, bleach, bleach it, and bleach my brows. Maybe that's like a bit of me. That. No. I've actually been thinking about like a total like re I, re I like, want a big re I, I want to scare like, everyone I'll pull a doja cat and just shave my head shave my I know eyes. I want to go fucking rogue yeah. I want to go off the tracks yeah. What's the saying? Off the rails I want to go off the rails <laughs> Off the track I, I want to go completely off the fucking rails It's about time Maybe it's a blonde moment for you Yeah but I'm I can't be ordering all this Olaplex And then be like That's what blondes use to keep their I hair know, like, I know I know Maybe it's the prep for it Maybe this is what we're leading up to Yeah I don't know Anyways Thanks for joining Bye. Thank you for assisting You're welcome uh, For the haul For the Christmas day on Harley Street <laughs> Oh, I'm wearing the same jacket. I'm gonna have this jacket on for weeks and weeks and weeks. Oh my god, you're such a calm man. Right now, you're so supportive. Where are we going? Where are we going? It's on the And we're going to an event. And I'm wearing the exact same thing I was. <laughs> Can you see my nose? <laughs> Good morning. To be a little bit quiet because Shim is still asleep. I just got up before I just had to shoot a little reel for my Vita Glow. Um, so just shot that quickly. I'm about to race out the door. I have a facial in Soho today. My skin, as I've, I think I said in my other vlog, has just been feeling really not good. Like it feels really congested and like I'm getting, like I know I'm lucky. I have good skin. I'm not trying to complain. I know it could be a lot worse, but for me, like, I can feel it like texture texture wise and just like oh like my under eyes just I just need a little bit of TLC. So I'm going to my skin clinic and I'm very excited. Oh, why is the lighting like this? Jesus. This top is motel, I think. These pants are vintage and shoes, obviously my new balances that I live in. My facial, my skin's feeling so nice and refreshed. Honestly, really good and really consistent with getting facials when I was in Oz. And it does just make such a difference to also like the aging of your skin. So very happy to be getting back into that. But I thought um, I've raced home because I have my therapy session at that time of the week in like 15 minutes. Um, so I'm about to jump on Zoom for that. But I thought I'd show you guys, I did my first ever order on Skims. Like I'm very late to this whole thing. I've never ever ordered, I've never ordered Skims before, but Shimmer absolutely loves Skims. And I borrowed one of her like turtleneck Skims tops the other day and I loved it. It was so comfy. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I already opened this one, but I got this little like, Corset. I'm nervous it maybe might be a bit too big. I think I've maybe ordered all of my sizing a little bit too big. Um, I ordered mediums, I think. I mean, I haven't tried it on yet, obviously, I'll tell you. But I got mediums, and Shimmer said that I should have probably gotten smalls. This is the long sleeve turtleneck shirt. It's elite. I probably should have gotten a small, though. But maybe it'll be fine. It's just like that. I don't remember what I ordered. Oh yeah, these little booty shorts. I'm wearing the black pair of these right now. But my friend Millie had them. 
Oh, this is different to what I thought I was ordering. Okay, this is not what I thought I was ordering. I think I've ordered the wrong thing. They're like these little booty short things, but I love wearing them to bed. This little bralette, oh my God, I definitely, I don't know if this is the right sizing. This little bralette top. I get overwhelmed, I never really online shop. What is this? Oh. Okay, just, just a little classic little undie. Always nice. And then there should be another bralette. What have I ordered? <laughs> like I just spent so much money on skins and I'm like thinking, what the fuck? Okay, same bra top, but in black. I think this will be good. I always just wear these little ones. Anyways, I gotta go, I gotta do my session, but we're gonna sort this out. I'm gonna sort this out a little bit later. Cause I don't know what the fuck I've done. You know what, I might try it all on and it might be amazing. Let's have some positive thoughts here. I told you guys in the last video that I've been doing like online therapy sessions and I mainly like, obviously wanna talk openly about it cause I am such a big advocate for anything mental health. I was so resistant and hesitant to do therapy because it was just so daunting to me to have to like open up about everything and relive things and like I didn't like obviously since my dad passed away at the end of last year like I haven't really gotten any professional help with it because I was just like I can just sort it on my own and that's what I did even when he was alive like all my issues with him I was just like it's fine I can handle it like I'm a big girl I don't need therapy I don't need help and then I kind of was like Nothing major was even happening that made me feel like I needed to get therapy. I just thought everyone has things that they need help processing. So I was like, you can't hurt getting some extra assistance. And I don't understand, like, I don't understand how I feel half the time. And I don't even think I let myself feel or acknowledge a lot to do with my dad. Um, and like mainly our relationship when he was here. I feel like I'm processing the grief of not having him here, any here anymore like as naturally as anyone would like it's it's hard but it's like fine it's more like it's more the damage that was already done and the beliefs that I have about myself because of the things that my dad would say to me growing up if that makes sense um but like don't want to make this like a bitch about my dad <laughs> youtube video um, but I've spoken about it a bit here and there and I just think like it's like anything you know if you have a fight with a friend or they say mean things or bullying from school like all of those things kind of play into your subconscious as you grow into an adult so I think that I always act like I'm such a tough bitch all the time and that I can handle everything and um but I think I'm trying to soften to be like you're allowed to be hurt by things and you're allowed to also get help or admit that some things hurt you and I I have a lot of yeah issues I guess now with like I mean the negative beliefs that I think my relationship with my dad made me feel about myself especially around my body and um I suffer with just extreme, extreme body dysmorphia because I've lost like quite a lot of weight since I was younger, which I talk about, but, and I don't talk about body dysmorphia a lot because I just, it's something that I feel like I, and I don't like talking about body image and all of that because it's something that I suffer with and have for years and I don't, I can't preach anything about you know that because I'm I'm needing help with it myself so and I would love to be an advocate to help people but I need to help myself first before I can obviously do that and I know that's like you guys always ask me to talk about weight loss and like body this body that but I just like can't yet because I still suffer with so many issues with it and it's terrible it's like the most horrendous thing um, and it's takes it's taking me years taken me years and it will probably take me years more again but yeah I'm trying to get help with that but I truly believe like any issue like that 
the first step is always obviously forming more self-love and for me to form more self-love I have to go back to the start of where my insecurities started forming and my limiting beliefs and habits started forming and that was from my relationship with my dad so that's my long story short maybe me sharing that might help you figure out something going on for you I don't know I don't know but anyways I'm gonna log on to this session I'll let you guys know how it goes. I literally knew within like <laughs> three minutes of being on that call, I was like, I'm gonna cry. This is the first session I'm gonna cry with this therapist. I know it's coming. Anything, I feel like talking about body image is just for all the girlies that know. Oh, it's draining, it's exhausting, but I'm proud of myself for doing it. I do feel like really fragile now though, and I have to go out to go meet my friend Izzy who is gonna talk to Ashton and I about podcasting stuff because we're trying to learn more about how to be better at it and how to understand more about podcasting industry. I literally feel like I want to crawl into a ball and not leave my bed for the rest of the day. <laughs> this is the part about therapy that I feel like is really challenging. You either finish and feel like energized and amazing and this is the first one that I've finished and felt just like then but anyways i'm excited to go for lunch i'm starving 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 <laughs> just had the yummiest dinner i had some dumplings I'll show you my fit because i love this fit i feel like i've i've worn this dress like once before she's a little vintage number with my boots, obviously. These boots are just the best thing in the world. I got them from Brick Lane. Vintage Mill Market. Same belt I had on the other day. I'm being such a good girl. I really wanted to drink less this week. And so far, so good. I haven't had any drinks. It's Friday night here and went for dinner. Didn't drink. Tomorrow night, I'm going to see the new Harry Styles movie. I'm saying, don't worry, darling, at Electric Cinema. It's like my favorite cinema. It's the most beautiful cinema in Notting Hill. If you're coming to visit London and you want a little movie night, go to this one. It's gorgeous. Like big red velvet seats, so comfy. I know that we'll probably have like some red wines there tomorrow. And then we're going out to a house after it for our friend's event. Um, so I'm behaving tonight, but I just come home and made a peppermint tea and I'm eating some chocolate and it's 11.40 and I was, my goal was to be home before midnight, so this is 11. I got my makeup and do some journaling and maybe read a bit and then get to bed. Oh my god, and before I left the house tonight, Something possessed me. I vacuumed the entire house before I left for dinner. So I've come home and it's like, it is spotless in here. Like I am going to sleep so well tonight. I sleep so well when my room has been vacuumed. Like I can't even, honestly can't even explain it to you. Like wh I just think you're cl when you clear the energy in a space, like when you do a big clean up of your house, <sighs> nothing beats it. Tomorrow I'm going to wash my sheets. And I'm going to unpack some clothes and do some washing, like clothes washing, and just be feeling. I'm going to just be feeling on top of the fucking world. I already feel great just for vacuuming. Is this getting older? Is this getting, like, is this what getting older is? Taking such deep satisfaction from cleaning. I'm not complaining. All right, well, I'm going to get changed and shut the fuck up. Scene of yap yap yapping, honestly. I don't know how you guys put up with me. It's just good job. Good night. Dinner, 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 dinner. You're really going for the dinner. Yum, 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 yum. My stomach is gonna fix <laughs> me. Wait. We're going to see Don't Worry Darling. I'm nervous so sorry, because everyone's saying it's shitty. Don't worry, darling. It's all good. Don't but you know what? <laughs> don't worry, darling. I'm gonna love it, love it, love it. I'm excited. <laughs> Hi. 
<laughs> we have a little bed. This is electric. They have these little beds in the cinema, and then this is the room. It's so fucking cute. The girls are sitting there. <laughs> what? We're getting some, having our pup feed. Lou, we haven't had a pup feed in like, since we've been here. Some friends at the Pelican, this cute little pub in Notting Hill. post-lunch treaty, little carrot cake moment. Okay. Yummy. We are just taking some Insta pics. There's so many people walking past us on the street. Fucking hate it. This bitch. I hate it. She can't take a photo to save her life. I'll vlog. Well, I, See, photos? I'm dying vlogging right now. Like, I'm dying. I'm like, oh my God, everyone's looking at me. Well, you could be on FaceTime to someone. I'm not. I'm holding my camera sideways. I'm literally talking to my camera, to my phone. Photos, I just zone out and I go, Fuck it, don't care.